Hi, Andrew here. We're gonna do some more 223 gel testing today. We're gonna to take a look at Hornady's Frontier brand, 62 grain boat tail hollow point. Um, this has been requested in the forums a few times and one of the members at ARFCOM was kind enough to send me a box for testing. We're gonna shoot it out of my 10 and a half inch ARFCOM upper. Often I get questions about why I choose to do most of my testing with a short barrel. The primary reason is because that tells us a little bit about what this bullet can do at a longer range. If bullets fail to penetrate adequately out of a short barrel, um, but they do expand and fragment, then that generally tends to indicate that there's no way that they could possibly penetrate adequately from a longer barrel. Lots of folks are rocking a 10 and a half inch uh, pistol or SBR for home defense. But if you have a 16 inch or 14 and a half inch or whatever, the 10 and a half inch can still give you useful information. It tells you approximately what this bullet can do downrange and if it performs well at a 10 and a half inch barrel, then you can generally, normally expect it to do pretty well out of a 16 inch barrel also. Let's get out to the range and take a look. All right, I gotta say, I'm not really all that surprised here. Relatively short neck at approximately one inch. Nice big temporary stretch cavity. At about seven inches, eh, really six inches by four inches. And here's the bad news. Total penetration, 10.4 inches. Bullet stopped here from your perspective here. You can see it's slightly curved up a little bit. There's also a fair amount of fragmentation that came well off the wound track here. But at 10.4 inches, it's well short of the 12 inch minimum. It's not unusual for a medium weight boat tail hollow point. It just doesn't have the mass to fragment, lose significant portion of its mass, and then still penetrate deeply enough to reach vital organs. Okay, so I can't say that I'm super surprised. A medium weight boat tail hollow point or OTM type bullets tend to fragment quite a lot and lose a fair amount of mass, which means that they often tend, generally speaking, they tend to fail to meet that 12 inch FBI recommended minimum. And as you're well aware, that 12 inch minimum is required to reach deeply enough to reliably poke holes in vital organs, even if you have to shoot through a limb at an angle or your rounds impact the torso obliquely or both, or you have to shoot through another object before they hit the person. In any case, we prepare for the worst possible things that could happen in a fight and having ammunition that penetrates at least 12 inches gives us the best opportunity to reasonably reach vital organs because in studying many, many, many actual shootings, the FBI discovered that it was actually really, really common that rounds pass through limbs or impact the torso obliquely. Sure, in most cases, 10 and a half inches of penetration is probably enough to get the job done, but we don't carry a gun or keep a gun for defense at home for most cases, because in most cases you don't need a gun. And in the cases that you do need a gun, you don't have to shoot it. And in the cases you have to shoot it, you probably don't actually have to get a physical incapacitation because people often just give up when they get shot because that's what they've seen happen in the movies. We keep guns because bad things happen and sometimes really bad things happen. And we want to choose ammunition that's going to work even in bad situations. So this particular load, not a great choice for defensive use. Does that mean that it's bad ammo? Of course not. All of these tests are designed with defensive use in mind. It is still, at the very least, live ammunition, and my test did not cover reliability or accuracy at all. Generally speaking, Hornady ammo tends to be pretty accurate, so it's probably a pretty decent match bullet. If you have any questions or if you think I got something wrong, leave a comment below. As always, I really appreciate your feedback. Like, Share and subscribe so YouTube understands that you like to watch YouTube videos and have a great day.